So today, guys, uh, we're going to be talking about seats. The largest surface area that connects you to the bike is your seat. And we're going to explore some options and differences between these stock seats and some other seats that I've run and personally used on a number of my bikes. And we'll get into it right after this. So after having tried the stock seats, um, a Harley Ultra Limited seat, a Harley Hammock seat, about a year ago, I purchased this seat. This is a, a Saddleman SDC seat with the Pro Gripper. This is for the touring line. So um, the main difference in this seat versus your stock seat is one, they're much firmer. Um, a lot of people don't like Saddleman seats because they're firm, but there's a reason they're firm. Um, they have gel in through here through the seat and some of them actually have gel back here for on the passenger pillion um, this particular one just has it up here and honestly if you look at this this is not really set up for a passenger um, this is the has the pro gripper it's got a little sticky here it's got the backrest that can kind of go up and down this one is a little bit it gives you a little bit more reach um, i think it's like an inch or maybe even two inches uh, farther away from the tank than what you would experience on your stock tank or your stock seats. Um, it's also narrower through here so that if you are a little vertically challenged, um, you can get your legs closer into the bike um, and get your feet down on the ground flat footed. So this one was really awesome. Um, and I would say, you know, people, I did a, a thousand mile review on this. I'll put a link to that. But essentially, I've ridden this thing several thousand, I don't know, two, three, four, five thousand, five thousand miles now. And it continues to be very comfortable. Um, you know, some people say you need a break-in period on Saddleman seats uh, of a, maybe a thousand miles. So it, so it kind of forms to your butt and, and you get used to it. Um, I didn't really find that with these. Um, I essentially had no tailbone issues after I kind of switched to this, this SDC seat. And subsequently, after having run the SDC seat on the 2019 Road King Special, um, Saddleman sent me this seat. This is um, a Road Sofa LS, LS standing for the lattice stitch. Um, this, I believe, is all leather. It has gel in through here. It has gel for the passenger. So this was obviously a lot better option if you're looking for two up uh, riding. Um, very comfortable, again, very close in through here. Um, it might set you up a little bit higher than the SDC just because of the padding. But again, firm gel technology, gel core technology here and here. Um, this does also come with a cover um, because this is leather and they will soak up some wet if you're sitting this bike outside in the rain if you're on a trip. Um, so highly suggest bringing that with you if you have this one. This one happens to be a heated version. Um, so they do have a quick connect um, heated uh, connection that you can hook in your bike, which I've hooked up on both the bikes now. Um, this one also has, as you can see, this one also has a very tall lumbar, so it gives you good support back here. Um, I think you do have an option to get a backrest on this. I chose not to. So um, this is great for touring if you're out, going to be out on the road for days, uh, long days, uh, many days in a row. This is going to probably give you the most comfort um, of all of the Saddleman seats that at least I've experienced to date. So the next Saddleman seat that I actually purchased was when I purchased the 2021 Road Glide Special, which you see behind me. Um, this is the Saddleman uh, Slim RP, uh, which means rolled and pleated. So it kind of had this old school look. Again, gel technology up here. I don't believe it has it back here. This is actually a waterproof vinyl, so you don't get a cover with it. Um, but again, very close in through here so that when you're sitting on the bike, your legs are close into the bike. Um, probably a little bit more padded than the SDC. Um, and so I ran this one on the 2021 Road Glide Special. And I still kind of switch between this one and the SDC on the Road Glide. Um, I really like this one as well. Um, it does have, again, you can see the lumbar is pretty high. It sort of has separated here so that you don't get that tailbone issues and I bought this seat put it on the bike and actually had to do about a 230 mile run shortly after I bought this bike I put this thing on and I was comfortable that entire run I did it non-stop from St. Louis 
actually to Warrensburg other than just stopping for some fuel. Um, and it was great. So, you know, this is another option. Um, I would say a little bit more padding um, and comfort maybe than the SDC, but not that much different. But yet I've run this thing long days. I've gone trips. Um, I've done rides with my ride group and have no have had no issues with this. So the next seat um, that I got, this one I actually um, got shortly after I got the Street Glide CVO because as I said, that stock seat on the CVO, albeit it looks cool, it's a very expensive seat, it just wasn't doing it for me. Um, and I ran the Saddleman, uh, the Slim RP for a while on it because I like the look, the old school kind of rolled and pleated, but then this one is the actual, the step up touring tuck and roll. So this thing is probably of the SDC or the Slim RP. This is probably the most cushiony seat. Um, again, it has the, the step up design, high lumbar. It doesn't have the option on this particular seat for a backrest. Gel through here, gel through here, the gel technology, gel core technology. Um, this seat, I just took this on a 1400 mile run um, a few weeks ago. This thing is probably, in my opinion, as comfortable, if not more comfortable, even than the Road Sofa LS. And the reason I say that is, if you look at the, the tuck and roll on here, it actually gives you a little bit more airflow, I feel, um, when you're riding on hot days, so that you don't kind of get the swamp butt. Um, you look at all these Saddleman seats. I mean, they're, they're carpeted, they're riveted, not stapled. Um, they have pads here so that you're not rubbing on the paint. Um, they're just a solid, solid design. And this gel cork technology for me works super good. Um, it's so comfortable. And again, people say these things are firm, but my contention is firm is good because you're not concaving into the seat putting additional stress on your lower back or maybe your tailbone, and that's why these seats are designed the way they are. Um, they also do come with the little uh, rubber sort of gasket that goes on your paint, that goes underneath where you put your screw um, through to hook it onto the bike. Um, again, all of these seats are for touring models, so I can switch this between the two bikes, between the Road Glide and the Street Glide, um, and no issues whatsoever. Again, I'm running this one on the CVO. I switched between the SDC um, and the Slim, RP Slim on the Road Glide. Um, and I do, if I'm gonna go um, on longer trips, I will put the Road Sofa LS on there, especially in the winter because it is heated. So, you know, people have asked um, me to kind of talk about some of these seats. You know, I would, I would categorize them as this. So the SDC is a great seat looks incredible performance look seat to the seat um but probably one you know you could run all day but if you're going to run multiple days long days i probably wouldn't suggest it but if you're running around town great the rp slim um, another great seat not good for two up just like the sdc um, it really doesn't provide much for the passenger pillion um, so again it's a good one for running around town you know, doing a day long run, something like that. But if you're gonna be gone multiple days and laying down some big miles, um, I don't know that I would suggest those. But once you get into this touring step up or the Road Sofa LS, these are the king of touring seats in my opinion. These are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to check out, try out. Um, this one I think looks incredible day to day. Um, it's slim, but yet it provides enough room for a passenger pillion. Um, and it just gives a really cool look, in my opinion, on the CVO, as well as even on the, the Rogue Glide Special. So, you know, guys, that's a little bit of my thoughts. I've run thousands and thousands of miles on all of these Saddleman seats. Um, in my opinion, this gel cork technology, these Saddleman seats, I don't know that I would ever switch seats again. I've tried a lot. Harley Davidson stock seats. I've tried the Special seats, the Ultra seats. I've tried the Harley Hammock, which was the closest, I would say, to being comfortable as the Saddleman, except for it is wider in the front where your legs are. So if you're a little inseam challenger, a little bit shorter, it's gonna be harder to get down and reach the, uh, reach the ground. The Ultra Seat, I felt, pushed me way up forward. Super padded, passengers really like it. 
But I think for the long haul, if again, if you're running 15 or 25,000 miles on that seat, it's gonna break down. I've actually had a friend who has Ultra Limited and he actually is looking for a different seat uh, for he and his wife to be comfortable on because they are beginning to have tailbone problems as well. So I hope this kind of um, answers any questions about these Saddleman seats, the variety of Saddleman seats I have, the seats that I've tried. If you guys have any questions about any of these Saddleman seats or other seats that I've tried, feel free to drop it down in the comments. Um, also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, share this with your friends. They might be like-minded, like might like to see this. Um, also, don't forget to hit that bell icon and select all so you do get notified every time we do put out new content. And with that, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Life is short, get out and ride the bike. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.